Jonathan Rotz, field agronomist for Pioneer. Uh, beautiful day out here and taking a look at emergence. Just wanted to give you a couple of quick tips for yourself as uh, crops up out of the ground here finally and we're getting some great GDUs to push it along for some things that you can uh, look at and consider on your own. So first off is just thinking about what we want to do as population. You know, we know what we had as far as a population drop with the planter. Go ahead and run that. In this case, I'm in 30 inch rows, so 17 and a half foot row and go ahead and take a population estimate. I'm getting somewhere around 27 to actually 32. Uh, this was a this was actually a field that was established early. Um, in warmer soils, we were right around 50 degrees when it was established, but then we got severely cold for a very long time and took a lot of time to get up. So we're seeing some issues here and some definite stand reduction. When we see spaces like this, we're going to want to go ahead and, and just assess what exactly was going on there um, with that corn plant. Here's a really good example of cold injury. So this is what I'm seeing a lot in this field. You know, this was just that cold shock. Um, we actually had a fair amount of warmth uh, right after this planting, but that was quickly followed by a lot of cold rain and cold weather. And this, this plant has really no ability to do anything. It's uh, even for the couple that do get out of the ground after they get this, it's not going to be productive. Another thing we want to watch out for is runts. So this is one of the things when we're taking population estimates, you know, our population count, to think about how many plants are there, but also pay attention to what runts are there. And just for the fun of it, we're going to go ahead and we're going to mark this guy. And uh, we'll come back here a little later on this year uh, when this plot specifically is getting eared up. And we'll, we'll take a look at what actually happens to that runt. Another thing to make sure you note whenever you're seeing plants that tend to be a little bit behind versus you know a lot of our other stand is make sure that we uh, know what the planting depth on those plants were versus our intended planting depth. You can do this obviously just by pulling the plant, looking at where the soil surface was, and then measuring to that seed. And then going to other parts of your field that have you know well established plants or, or right here we can watch that soil surface, you know, pick that up and look. And in this case, both of those plants were the same planting depth. So we know that that's actually a, an emergence issue, not a planter issue. Again, just learning more about what we can improve till another year. This is also a good time to assess planter performance. We see things like this where we've got a double. That was obviously a planter issue. This is something we can't really do anything about as, as a lot of the observations that we take here during emergence, but it gives us some notes to think about, you know, what are things we need to work on towards next year. Now, as I said, whenever we're out here this time of year looking at these stands, it certainly is something that we're taking observations on, but we're not going to change. However, what it does do for us is it gives us a really good idea of places we can improve going forward. This is a great time again for uh, planter assessment. It's a great time to look at one hybrid versus another, one planting condition versus another, and really start taking notes and, and training ourselves as to what are we going to look for going, going in the future and what are some things that we have watch outs for. One thing to note, um, I showed you that cold damage. There's also uh, places in this field where I found just completely uh, dead kernels. They didn't, they didn't even try. Remember that uh, whenever you get a bag of seed, you know, we have about a 95% germ. So even under perfect conditions, you will find some of those off types where maybe they didn't germinate right or didn't germinate at all. Sometimes I get questions about why, why you're finding, you know, something that looks like cold shock uh, in a field that should have never had it. That 95% germ is 95% of, uh, of that bag is going to germinate normal. It doesn't mean that there's not going to be any abnormal germination like what we see in cold shock. The more adverse conditions we uh, we give that, the the larger of um, that, the larger percentage of that will be abnormal. So hopefully this has given you a little bit of an idea of some things to go out there and look for on your own. Again, great time to get out there and scout those cornfields, get a little bit of an estimate of. You know, what was your best planning date? What was some of the things that uh, worked out really well, as well as some of the things that we might want to avoid till another year. Thanks and have a great day. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.